Well, this year is going to be Harley's fourth consecutive year of sales declines in the U.S., so they certainly need to do something different. Um, it's not clear whether this is going to turn around their fortunes, right? After four years of decline, the sales projections they've put out there call for about a 4% increase a year over the next five years. So that would be a pretty significant turnaround. And these are some of these bikes aren't going to be shipped for two or three years from now. So it buys them some time uh, for investors to think about how things could be uh, two or three years out, but it's probably not going to change change things in the near term for Harley. And I understand that these these lower priced and lighter weight bikes are also lower margin too. So they're going to have to sell an awful lot more of those to get back to a strong place of profitability and growth, correct? Exactly. We've already seen this when Harley introduced the street models uh, three or four years ago. They're, they're lower priced, lighter weight bikes, and typically that, that's going to be less profitable. And so their, their margins have already been coming down a couple hundred basis points over the last few years. So their, their announcement this morning talks about keeping margins where they are, but it's tough to see how they're going to do that when they're going to be selling a lot more of these lower margin bikes. So uh, the president has been hard on uh, Harley-Davidson uh, for their uh, moves to um, offshore some production. Uh, is any of their sales decline traceable to what the president has said, which is that their customers are angry with them for moving production offshore? Do you see that? Well, I, I don't want to uh, wade into politics here. I would just say that uh, the decline this year is, you know, follows three years of sales declines in the U.S. already. So, our, you know, in our view, the uh, bigger picture, what's behind the declines in Harley sales is that their average rider is aging and not buying bikes at the same rate that they used to. And I think that's the that's been the bigger picture issue behind Harley's declines now for a couple of years. But politics aside, I mean, you have to admit, Harley is a special brand. They've chosen chosen to be identified as a very American kind of a brand. And a lot of the Americans out there, um, I, I, they, they feel this nationalist tendencies. I, I have a lot of friends and family going up to Sturgis, South Dakota right now for the huge motor uh, rally that's going on up there. And, and they are mostly all Trump supporters. So can they support their beloved Harley when they can support the president at the same time. And I'm not trying to get you to talk about politics, but it is a dilemma that this company that is very identified with the United States faces right now. You know, Harley is absolutely an American brand, and I think for uh, for U.S. riders, I mean, they're still going to continue to manufacture U.S. sold bikes in the U.S. So that aspect of the brand, you know, won't change with with anything that's been announced today or anything they're doing now. I find it very interesting uh, that they're looking at doing an electric motorcycle. I'm not a yeah. big a motorcycle chick myself, but I understand that sort of the power and <laughs> yeah, the yeah, sound that, is that's not sort a of Harley. a part of it. I mean, an that's electric a motorcycle doesn't seem much like a Harley to me. What, it wouldn't be a hog. What would it be? Yeah. Uh, uh, a piglet? Yeah, what would it be, Robin? <laughs> Well, uh, there there are there are also some of the aspects in the announcement today. You know, they've talked about electric motorcycles before. They're going to start shipping next year. Some of the things they talked about today are to go after the sort of scooter and moped market, which is definitely a departure for the Harley brand. And it is, it is interesting to see how that's going to impact. I think the traditional Harley rider who, um, do you who think the it'll work? Something very different than that. Do you think it'll work? Um, I think, I think it's um, it will be a challenging thing to first of all to make a, a profitable electric motorcycle that for a price that you know if the price is twenty eight thousand dollars per bike that's going to be tough to sell to to a, a U.S. bike buyer and it's also going to be tough to be profitable given the amount of R and D that goes into it. How about a smaller bike so that I, isn't isn't electric, uh, one that w that's gas powered, but but not not the big hog. So in other words, not not an electric bike at all. You mean some some of the medium sized yeah. bikes that they're you, you think that's talking a good about move? today? Well, the, so so part of what they're announcing today, just with with their traditional bikes, um, putting them on a, a mid scale platform. Mm -hmm. One of their competitors, um, Polaris owns the Indian brand, which is the other kind of vintage American brand, has done very well with the Indian Scout. And this, some of what they're and uh, they've announced today is is to go after where you know they see Scout growing, they see yeah. Polaris growing the Indian brand, right. but they're not going to ship until 2021. So yeah. this is not going to be a near term fix for Harley.